The Nasdaq rising yet again Tuesday to hit a record high as the Dow and S&P 500 give back some of Monday's gains. Gains. Let's get take a technical view of the market for that. Uh, we talked to Randy Watts. He's Chief Investment Officer at O'Neill Global Advisors, joining us from Florida. Welcome back, Randy. So Hi, I looked at some of the momentum indicators, the relative strength index, the MACDs, and they sort of look like overbought to me. But from your uh, professional standpoint as a chartist, what do you see? Well, the market has had a very strong move from the bottom. If you look at the stocks on the New York Stock Exchange relative to their 30 week, 75% of them are now above their 30 week moving average. Uh, in addition, all of the sectors in the market right now are trading above their 50 day and only two sectors are currently below their 200, 200 day and that's energy and utilities. So it's been a very, very strong move in the market and it's really been driven over the last month by more of the cyclical groups, financials, transports, energy, and capital equipment. So what does that mean in terms of the market setup overall for investors? Should they uh, take some profits at this point, or is it overvalued, overbought, or, or not? And stocks will still go up higher. Well, um, amazingly, the NASDAQ today is actually trading at a new high, and the S&P is only 5% away from its all-time high. It would be logical technical action right now for the market to either pause and go sideways or to pull back a little bit. If it pulls back, the first support would really be its 10 day moving average around 3100. Overall, we'd like to see it stay above its 200 day, which right now is around uh, 3000. All right, so hold on to what you have or take, take some profits. Um, we do think that this is actually an appropriate time to maybe take a little bit off the table given the move we've had from the lows. We do think the market over the next year or so can move higher, driven by a recovering economy. And the fact that interest rates are now so low, if you look at the 10-year bond right now, it's about 80 basis points, that we do think stocks are going to get a better than normal price earnings multiple. But it is important that earnings recover. Right now, Wall Street analysts are estimating $160 next year for earnings. So there is a lot of good news actually baked into earnings estimates right here. And Randy, uh, let's take a look at some stocks that are on your recommended list. Uh, the pool distributor called Pool and Lululemon, uh, the apparel maker and retailer. Um, Lululemon's already well, well past its uh, all-time peak that it hit in February. And as for Pool, that's uh, that's about at its peak level too. So why are you, why do you like these two stocks? You know, both stocks have done very well. I think one of the themes in the market right now is the strong companies are getting stronger, and both of these companies are really leaders in their space. With regards to pool, they sell maintenance supplies for, for obviously swimming pools. They have about 40% market share. They're the largest player in the space, and they're growing quite rapidly. What's important about that company is actually 50% of their sales come from maintenance recurring products. So we do think uh, if the company can hold its current multiple and uh, hit the earnings that's projected of around $7 next year, we think the stock could be maybe 280 or so. Uh, with regards to Lululemon, they've really been driven by a couple of factors. Uh, the first is online. Right now, about 30% of their sales are online. We think that can move higher. They have about 500 stores globally. Over the long term, we actually think this company could double its store base to roughly 1,000. And then finally, they're very on trend. Uh, athletic leisure wear has is, is been growing very rapidly as a, as a market in the U.S. It's growing about 8%, and they're really the leader. Uh, and one of the ways that's demonstrated is they get about a 30% price premium on their apparel versus other competitors. And a lot of people probably wearing their apparel as they stay at home and shun the suits. And, and maybe people look for pools, too, as they stay at home. Anyway, thanks a lot, Randy, for those uh, thoughts. Our thanks to uh, Randy Watts of O'Neill Global Advisors. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters.